we are seeing every day in the news, on our social media streams, images that are terrible, terrible to watch, terrible to comprehend what's happening to innocents around the world, particularly in the Middle East. And emotions are therefore running high. Now, right now, while this conflict and crisis rages in the Middle East, Canadians have an opportunity and therefore a responsibility to look to be there for each other. Not to necessarily agree. Our diversity includes diversity of perspectives and opinions. But not to hate. Not to lash out with threats of violence or actual violence against someone you disagree with. No matter how strongly felt your fears or convictions are, it doesn't give you the right to do what we saw yesterday at Concordia or in the shots fired at Jewish schools today in Montreal. These are not, not who we are. We've been calling for uh, weeks now for humanitarian pauses, and as I specified yesterday, they need to be significant. They need to last long enough to get people out, to get supplies in, and we have to start using them to start thinking about what the medium term and long term is, how we're going to get to a viable Palestinian state alongside a viable uh, Israeli state of Israel, uh, Jewish state of Israel, where they are both secure, where they are both uh, able to protect their citizens and flourish. That is where we need to get to, and Canada will be there, as we always have been, uh, to build that two-state solution.